I managed to mostly fix my Windows 11. And I say mostly because there's still one bug that is driving me insane. Whilst most people seem to agree that it's a wise decision to wait, I'm not 100% convinced. So we have to start somewhere and the obvious place to start is the start menu structure that now appears smack bang in the middle of the screen and cannot be moved. Spoiler alert, that's not true. Okay, so hit the Windows icon, launch it up in the new start menu. And here you can see you got your apps neatly pinned at the top. Thankfully, no more tiles. Didn't really dig them in the first place. To add a new app, simply find the app that you want, right click on it, and then click on pin to start. I mean, come on, that's pretty straightforward. Open this up and there's your app, and of course you can move it around anywhere on your pin section to make it more convenient for yourself. If you right click on any app, you can pin it to your taskbar as well as unpin it from start. Straightforward stuff. Now, right click anywhere on the taskbar and choose the only option which is taskbar setting. This has also triggered some people, I don't know why. Now over here in personalization, you can see you got a whole bunch of icons there, the widgets and the chats. I just switched those off. I'm not going to use those for right now. I did leave task view on and that's in case you want to do your desk virtualization. Let's ignore this for now. And of course, search. Well, why would you want to disable search? But there it is. Now, you remember the whole thing of not actually being able to move the taskbar? Well, if you scroll further down, you'll see an option called taskbar alignment and it says center click on it and now you can move it to the left if you so choose where it was now you cannot drag it to the top or the side of your screen but you can move it at least from the center to where you want it check this out scroll further down and it says show recent searches when i hover over the search icon here's what it looks like there's a search nothing there when i hover over it it just says search i simply put a tick box in there and look at this it shows me my last three searches. How convenient is that to simply click and launch those? Have you heard about the start folders? Well, now you have, and they are great to access important stuff really quickly. So when you open up your start, you can see between the name and the power, there's this big open space. I was wondering what that was for. Well, right click on the taskbar, choose taskbar settings, click on personalization, scroll down, you will see start, click on that. And then you can see folders. And look at this. These are a whole bunch of folders. Let's enable all of them. I just want to show you what that looks like. So enable all those. Network, yes. Personal folder, cool. Now click on the start button and all these icons appear, allowing you to very quickly launch those specific folders. Dude, what is with all the hate on File Explorer? When Microsoft first introduced Ribbon, people lost their friggin' minds as they wanted a simplified menu structure. Now that it's back to basics, and of course this isn't good enough. Oh no, there's now an icon to rename a file. Oh please. So this is what the File Explorer looks like. You can see these icons at the top that have replaced the ribbon. And typically, these are the stuff that we use most often. Cut, copy, paste, rename. Three little dots exposes a couple of more additional options. And the same thing when you right click on a file. You will now see a couple of options, like the icons for cut, for copy, rename, share, and delete. Now, the other options are very nicely, just simply laid below. Now, there is a bit of a thing that if you're gonna to get to your secondary menu, you gotta click on show more options, and then it brings you the old Windows 10 kind of style. So yeah, I do get it's an extra click to get to more advanced option. But I mean, come on, right click, choose the icon to rename, type whatever you want the file to be called, and click away, and there it's done. Not the end of the world, right? Now, if you right click on the file, and this time we're gonna click the share icon, and now you can share this file with nearby sharing. If you have that enabled, it will pop up the other devices. I can email this file to myself or anybody else. I can share it with a specific app right there from your fingertips. Now, the other thing that people are complaining about is, let me just set this up from view into list mode. Look how spaced apart they are. Well, click on view and click on compact view and now you've just lost the spaces. One of the most used commands, and I'm purely guessing here, must be copy and paste. Windows 11 has a new clipboard update and it's awesome. Okay, let's copy this line by using Control C and this line by using Control C again. Now, if you press Windows and V button, it will open up the clipboard as we know. And now we'll simply click on the items and you paste them into your document. But check this out. You can pin an item. And why that's important, because you now have a button called clear all, which basically means 
that you can get rid of everything and pin the things that you frequently paste into your documents. That's pretty neat. Other thing within here is your most frequently used items are gonna be listed, such as your emojis. You've got the option to obviously see your GIFs and not your GIFs, your GIFs, and there's Squid Game right there as well. Then you've got your Kamoji, I think is how you say that, and then you've got your symbol. The point is everything is neatly within the Windows clipboard. I've always thought that voice dictation was a gimmick. Now, maybe it's because of my weird accent made the computer write absolute nonsense. I don't know. But I will say in Windows 11, it's now beyond just a party trick. It's a must try feature if you write reports or college essays. And Microsoft, thankfully, has finally realized that not everybody is a native English speaking person. So there's now a sweet option that you can enable. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the Windows and H button and then this pops up. And let's stop it from listening. Click on the setting icon. That's the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna enable something cool called auto punctuation. This is the game changer, but it's really, really good. So let's test it. I wonder if this is going to understand me at all. Excuse me, what is the time? Notice those punctuations? This is what makes the world of a difference between something that just word vomits on the screen and you have to go and re-edit and something that's really, really useful. Now, check this out. Click on your start button, click on settings. When that comes up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to time and language on the left-hand side. And when we click on that, we're gonna go into speech. Click on that. And under speech, look at this option, recognize non-native accents for this language. Enable that, and even people like with my accent are able to be understood. But remember when I said there was a bug that was driving me insane? Well, here it is. Okay, so here I've got my file explorer on the left-hand side, I've got my Word document on the right-hand side, and I can take a picture, and I can drag and drop it within the document. That's all working absolutely perfectly fine, as it should. Okay. Here is the issue. Let's just delete that. Now watch this. I'm going to minimize my Word document. It's in the taskbar at the moment. Okay, now let's grab the image and then take it down to the taskbar. Hover over Word. It should open. I should be able to paste it. It doesn't do that. It's got this, I don't know, this no entry sign thing. You cannot do that. What is going on? And it's not just Word. Look at this. Here is Chrome that's open, my Google Drive. I want to drop something in there. And you can see I can do that. If I minimize the Chrome, again, it doesn't pop up Chrome too, so I can drag and drop stuff on. Like why? Why Microsoft is this still a thing? It's such an obvious one. So are there bugs in Windows 11? Yes, of course they are. But on a scale of totally unusable to absolutely perfect, Windows 11 is somewhere over here. It's absolutely usable, and there are patches that are gonna continue coming out fixing all these issues. So hit me up in the comments below and let's discuss your Windows 11 experience and your thoughts. Check out this video over here that triggered a lot of people, apparently, and check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe, and I will see you in this video or this video, or I'll see you in both. Let's go.